So it is the next day and I'm on my way to go get the gate for the back. Hey y'all, I'm Kat. My husband and I moved our family from the city to the country hills of Kentucky to build our homestead, now keto inspired. David always says, A good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That's exactly what we're doing on Keto Country Homestead. Well, we got it in the truck. If it would have been one inch longer, it wouldn't have fit. I don't know what we would have done. I guess strap it to the top. But anyways, so I gotta run a couple more errands, then I'm going home and fixing this gate. If you have a farm or a homestead, I recommend you get one of these. <laughs>
the wife is going to go pick up a shovel. Yay for tools to make everything better and easier. You can see here I got both fence posts in the ground, two feet deep. So we're gonna make some concrete, fill those in. <clears throat> and then <sighs> make them level and then lash them to the fencing that we have here and over there using paracord or mule tape, whatever we have, so that we can hold them in a place while the level, while the concrete sets. Shovel. Yeah. We got two posts up. I think it took us 45 minutes in yeah, total. Totally um, we dug the holes, put the posts in, mixed the concrete, filled it up, took some of the old fencing away, which we're going to repair and replace some of it. <clears throat> and we leveled it about 15,000 times <laughs> to make sure it's nice and level. Yes. And it's already setting up. Um, while it's setting up, we put some rocks wedged in there nice and tight. Um, that's just going to give it more support. Jesus said to build your house on a rock. So anything we build, we try to follow that, that rule. Even though it's not the context he was using it in, it is a well-known fundamental principle with building. If you build anything, build it on a rock. So we've got some rocks in there. It's going to hold it into place. We've got good concrete and uh, it's already almost set up. We'll come back out here in a little while later and uh, it should be nice and tight. We'll put our fence up. I mean our gate. Well, we just got done putting the posts in, the fencing, we fixed Pen 1's fence, and we got the gate on. That's exciting. So I just have to lash some fencing onto the gate, and we'll be all done with this project. That'll be good to do. What? That'll be great. Almost ready for some pigs. So now that the gate is done, let's let these dogs off their chains.